the party headquarters was in a charged atmosphere with party members wearing paraphernalia of their preferred aspirants. Throughout the day, the members were engaged in singing and dancing. <laughs> For the party, this level of support is a signal of the interest in the reorganization process. So far, what I'm, I'm seeing and hearing, uh, the grounds for the party is so energized. We continue to aid them to be civil in their pronouncement, to be fair and, 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 and candid in their engagement. Stephen and Tim, who is contesting for the chairmanship position, submitted his form on Monday. He's being contested by five other persons in team who is making his fifth bid after losing the previous four, says his goal is to unify the rank and file of the party when given the nod. I've identified some constituencies in the country where even polling station elections have not taken place. Electoral area coordinators elections have not taken place. Constituency elections have not taken place. And for that matter, these constituencies did not even participate in the reg their respective regional elections, especially in Ashanti region. I will make it my cardinal objective to make sure that there is unity in all these constituencies and package all of them to join the rest of the party in unison to break the eight in 2024. Give me 100 days after making me the chairman and I'm going to make sure that there is unity in all those affected constituencies, apart from those that are in court with the NDC and the Electoral Commission. The internal party disputes, I'm going to resolve them in 100 days. General Secretary Aspirant Justin Kodria from Pon, who is the CEO of the Youth Employment Agency, also filed his nomination. He expressed confidence of winning despite competing against incumbent General Secretary John Guedu and three others. It's not news, or it's not new, that an incumbent contesting for general secretary position. As far back as in 1998, we had the incumbent who has served for two terms, Ajeni Mboateen, contesting Dambuchi. Yet Dambuchi won. We also had Sir John, who was being contested by um, um, Kwabele Japon, and Kwabele Japon won. So what we are doing is deepening the democratic dispensation in our party. And as you are, you are aware, MPP is a beacon light of hope for political party uh, development in our country. And I don't think the second leg of the question that you asked, this is the right forum for me to tell you whether the general secretary has performed or has underperformed. For that one, I leave it to the delegates. They know whether he has performed or he has not performed. What has inspired you to come in? Um, the people around me. You look around, the hope that I'm bringing to the party People know that with Justin Kudria Frimpon, they are going to have an accessible, a very listening and tolerant general secretary. A group of women organizers in all 16 regions and some constituencies filed a nomination on behalf of incumbent national women's organizer, Kate Jemfua. The 16 regional women organizers, we have decided on our own to submit the forms on her behalf. That is why she's not here. How was the process like when you went in? Well, it's, it's smooth. We are here with our constituency women organizers reps to represent various constituencies and the 16 regional women organizers too. So it went on smoothly. If you are the one submitting on, on her behalf, who paid for the nomination? We, the 16 regional women organizers, on our own, decided to pay for her to recontest as the national women organizer. Ah! The elections committee says more than three aspirants filed their nominations on Monday out of the 52 who picked the forms. The arrangement put in place by the party is for all those 52 people who picked up nomination forms to file uh, between today and Wednesday. We are hoping that they will do the needful. Uh, you may have counted three. It's been more than that. But uh, I'll... I'll I'll plead with you 
to allow us to go through the process. So by Wednesday, we are able to give a full picture of those gallant party members who have been bold enough to garner support, to prepare themselves in readiness to serve the new patriotic party, give up their best, and ensure that the party and next once again, Victory 2024. Even though this process has been done within the working hours, uh, we've had more than three people filing their nomination. The new patriotic party is still expecting more than 40 persons to submit their nominations aside these three persons who have done so, following from which vetting will be held, other electoral processes will take place for the conference itself which is scheduled to be held in July. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.